Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're talking about the shop prices in Tanky Online and how they've gotten a little bit higher than most games would have. Now, of course, you look at the shop and you have a bunch of decent bundles. Tanky's actually been doing a much better job with bringing new bundles into the game. Of course, you have this brand new starter pack and supplies pack bundles, $3 and $8 for each one. Now the $3 pack, 500 tank coins. Now Tanky values 100 tank coins at about $1.15. So taking that into account, with the tank coins alone, it's about a $6 value you pack and then seven days of premium tanky values premium at three dollars for one day which is just crazy no one buys premium by itself anymore you have to be getting it from bundles nowadays but this alone is like a 30 dollar value pack or maybe in the past five ten years ago this pack would probably be a dollar at the end of the day i think the addition of tank ones isn't really my favorite i don't like having that medium to where now instead of just buying 18 dollars for a 1500 tank coin pack you have to actually spend 18 plus an extra five if you don't have an extra hundred tank coins because look the bundle's 1400 tank coins it's right above the amount you can get from spending just 18 dollars by itself people in the past used to use different currencies to spend money on the game because it was a lot cheaper in other currencies but tanky's actually been cracking down on that recently so if you ended up doing that in the past i would definitely recommend stopping but if tanky's cracking down on that i think they should reduce the price of tank coins by probably 50 percent i think 100 tank coins should be worth 50 cents so five dollars would give you a thousand tank coins a hundred dollars would give you 20,000 tank coins and so on. I think $300 pack for 24,000 tank coins is way too overpriced. You're spending basically $300 on the top bundles in the game. I remember back in the day, the most expensive bundle you could get back in 2019, 2018 was an XT bundle and you were guaranteed to get stuff from that. Now you just get containers, really crappy shot effects that no one cares about. And remember containers, you're not even guaranteed stuff. It could take you two to 300 ultra containers to actually get one skin. Whereas back in the day, you could spend $100 and get guaranteed one. Tanky also used to have $60 bundles that would give you a brand new skin. A brand new one. Now you can spend 17,000 tank coins, which is the equivalent of basically $200 and you get a skin that's already in the game. They just brought it back in some ultra containers, which again, I'm not a huge fan of ultra containers. I think they're kind of boring. I would rather have guaranteed stuff, but at the end of the day, this bundle is not awful. Now you also have the daily tank coin pass, $21, and I think you get a total of 5,500 tank coins. Now, if we use the math I was using earlier, that's roughly worth $63 in tankies current standards for tank coins costing $1.15 per hundred. So this one is definitely worth it. Unfortunately though, you look at this, say you buy this bundle, you get 5,500 tank coins. You can't buy anything here. You can buy the super cheap ones, but the super cheap ones are pretty mediocre in my opinion. Like this one's honestly pretty worth, you get premium considering premium is worth three bucks per day. It's not bad. But you look at this bundle, 3,000 tank coins for 20 ultra containers, some skins you'll never use and 13,000 crystals. It's pretty rough. Don't even get me started on the mini games in tanky. I mean, that already costs like $1,000 minimum to finish. And now I can't even imagine how much, gonna, how much it's going to cost now that cheaper currencies aren't available. Now, I always ask people to use my credit tag because it gives me a certain percentage of the money you guys spend on tanky, meaning tanky gets less. So if you already feel guilty about spending money on tanky, don't forget to use credit tag because it helps tanky get less money and give uh you know it helps give the people keeping the game alive a little bit more incentive to upload almost all uh, as frequently as i do not to mention the elite pass it costs basically 25 dollars and you have to grind out 50 to 100 stars every single day which isn't really that easy unless you're doing your daily missions it's going to spend about 30 minutes to an hour every single day for a week or two to get this legendary container where you may not even get a skin you want. I'd say the price of the Elite Pass is actually worth it if you get a guaranteed skin. I think the price of the Elite Pass used to be 1,700 tank coins. They've increased it by five to $10 worth of tank coins, which is kind of getting ridiculous and absurd. You have the Tanky Star Pass. You got a brand new augment in every Star Pass. Now you just get really scattered in crap rewards that maybe add up once you finish them all, but still one ultra container for the epic rarity where you're spending basically ten dollars worth of a pass on this i don't know i'd really like to see tanky adjust their prices universally whether it be remove a lot of these boring tank coin bundles add more of these cheap really nice bundles make it a lot easier to buy into these event passes into these elite passes as well Overall, I think the prices in tanking are getting a little absurd, especially when there's no way to get a cheaper cost anymore. But yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'll see you in a future video. Peace out.